This video is going to demonstrate on how to apply vendor payments to multiple invoices when the payment has already been applied to the vendor ledger. So the circumstances are that you have simply just applied a payment to a vendor ledger using a payment journal. So from your list of vendors, if we see this example here, we have a payment of 364620 and the balance is actually zero. But if I actually open the balance up, what you'll see is that all of these transactions, the invoices and payments, all have remaining amounts. And this is because the payment hasn't yet been applied to the invoices, it's just simply been placed on the ledgers. So to apply the payment, you highlight the payment, you go Actions, Functions, Apply Entries. And from this screen, you need to, you, well, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can either individually click the payment you want to apply it to and set applies to ID but in this situation we're going to do one on bulk now in this example the due date for the documents is actually correct if I wanted to apply it to documents that fell within a particular due date range if I right click on the due date column and select filter and then I was to select um, dot dot resembles um, up to and then I did 2802.19 this is going to change the due date date range to all dates up to the 28th of the 2nd 2019 now I select select more select all of the transactions and press set applies to ID now once this is set this way I very simply just select post application. And you see that all those ledger entries have just gone. Now if I change this to show the closed entries as well, you can see that all the remaining amounts are zero. So that is how you apply a payment that is already on the vendor ledgers to multiple documents at the same time and um, without having to individually pay each invoice off. The same method actually applies to customer ledgers as well. If you've got any questions, please let me know.